Alright and welcome back to part 4 on how to make a pet system. Now in today's video we're going to be creating the UI for the eggs and we'll be starting to script the egg system. Now we won't completely finish the egg system today because it's quite a big task but the goal is to try and make it so the UI shows when you get close to the egg. Now with all that being said let's get into it. Alright so go ahead and insert a part. Now inside this part insert a billboard GUI. Inside of this, insert a frame and do reset on spawn off and always on top on, okay? Once again, there will be one in the description below, which is completely free to take or you can just follow along and make your own and customize your own. Now with that being said, let's continue. Okay, so once you have your billboard UI, just go ahead and name this pet UI. And make sure it's in a part, okay? We're gonna anchor this part, make it transparent, and just scale it down a tiny bit. Now we're also gonna name this center, okay? Because this will be the center of our egg, and we wanna move this to our egg model, and just put it in the middle of our egg. And just put it in the middle of the egg, just like that. So now when we walk up to it, this will show. Then we, when we walk away from it, it disappears, okay? Let's just go ahead and move this down a tiny bit. Okay, let's just have it, have it, let's have it there for now because we'll need room for the interactions, okay? Now go ahead and create a folder in Replicate Storage and name this UI or GUI. Insert a folder inside of this, just to name eggs and just insert the pet UI billboard into this folder here. Once you've done that, move your center into eggs, then basic egg, and anchor that. So now we have four things in this model. We have the base, which is this. We have the display, which is the amount it cost. And we have the egg, and we also got the center of the egg, which is this. So that's all good. Now we're gonna start scripting this, okay? So go ahead to start a player, start a player scripts, GUI, and go ahead and insert a new folder called game. Inside of this, insert a local script. And we're just gonna name this local script, egg display. Okay, once again, I will skip this part of the video up, only because it's gonna take way too long explaining what the code means. So feel free to follow along, Make sure you're writing down the code the same time I am. And without further ado, let's get into it. One more thing to do is go ahead into your pet UI, frame, pets, and then the pet. Make sure you drag this into the eggs folder as well separately. I'll go ahead and insert another folder and go ahead and name this pet display and then move your pet into here and the pet UI into here then just delete this folder so let's just name a folder pet display that has the pet UI and the pet image label
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a quick test to make sure it's getting the eggs in the workspace. So let's just go ahead and click play. Okay, yeah, and it is. As you can see, it's getting the egg every every second. So we can keep updating the egg every second and we can make sure that if the player gets close to the egg, the UI shows. So that works very well. Okay, so all we're doing here is just checking if the player is in distance of the egg in a radius of like 25. So if we go ahead and click play, as you can see, it won't print in distance because we're not in distance of the egg. But when we go in distance, it will print it. So you can see it starts printing it. Then if we walk away, it stops. It starts. Then we walk away and it will stop, okay? So that seems to be working so far. Now what we're going to do inside this function is we're just going to open this UI. So let's get on with that. Let's give this one more quick test. This should work. Okay, there we go. So now when we walk up to the egg, this shows. And when we walk away, it disappears. Okay, so that seemed to work. Now, what we need to do is we need to load the pets one by one into this frame. So go ahead and X out of your egg display local script and go into replicate storage, modules, and then egg stats. Now inside of this table for your basic egg, we want to add another table, okay, it's going to be called pets. And this is where we will hold all of the pets in the egg, okay. Now each pet will be called a number, okay, it will be like a pet ID. So go ahead into, or go ahead into modules, then insert another module script called pets. We're going to do the same, just return a table, return a table, and we're just going to add a number called 1, and we're going to make this a table, okay? Now, each pet will have an ID, so for example, this pet, the ID is 1, we could have another pet with the ID of like 257, okay? So for now, we're just going to do 1, then name equals dog. And we're just gonna do, I don't know, rarity, rarity equals common. And that's all we're gonna do for now, okay? We're also gonna add one more variable called thumbnail. So for like the pet icon. And we're just gonna do rvx asset id. So that should ask. Feel free to copy this id as well. You will have it in your inventory UI, but just copy this id here paste it in just like that okay now go ahead and X out this script and go back into egg stats and this will be a table so we're just gonna do another table inside of this the pet ID and the chance of getting the pet so this will be like a 70% chance okay for now we're gonna make this a hundred percent chance so we get it each time now go ahead and X out of your egg stat script. Okay, and this will do for today's video. Now, in episode five, we will be loading the pets and doing some interactions for the egg. Now, with all that being said, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.